He looked in and saw a bald, jacked assassin who is also doubling as a living dildo bag advertisement getting changed in his room and was just like, F*** that. I can't deal with that today. I'm just going to keep smoking. With no other option, I just run around the corner and jump into an unwanted baby disposal center. I mean, I know Silvio Caruso is currently building a mega STD weapon of mass destruction or whatever, but you have to respect the man's taste. The lack of eye contact kind of reminds me of when I lost my virginity, except this conversation lasted about twice as long, and he's not my ex-girlfriend who would later break up with me because I allegedly prioritized video games over our relationship. You see that pink sweater? hung around his neck like that, it's a telltale sign that him and his friends played Soggy Sayo like two or three times a week when they were in school. He passed away. Get it? Passed away? Because he's eating pasta? Damn, I said I'd work on my one-liners when I killed targets, and now I'm just making carbohydrate-related food puns. I run over to him to try and take his cash again, but no one else has tipped him. This guy is seriously screwing me over financially. I was really counting on robbing him again. What a dick. The container is full of some sort of green acid, and when I drop him in, there is a sort of sizzling sound, almost like burning flesh or something. Anyway, I'm sure he'll be fine. Like, for example, my parents told me that I was an accident every day of my childhood and I'm pretty sure they were lying. Right? Right guys? Marto and I mostly just look pretty and murder hookers. And upon arrival, I mounted Crosby's vehicle in my BBC, aka my big black car, as a sign of dominance. I even swing by the Santa Monica Pier and mow down some pedestrians enjoying the sunshine because it's important to enjoy the little things in life. Oprah walks in, she tells us to look under our seats and so I look under my seat and pocket a cool $293,000. What better way to pass the time than harassing some locals. Everyone is in their underwear too, which means you know things are going well. I think every business of any kind should make their employees work in their underwear. I should be an Uber driver. I mean, you might not get to your destination in one piece, but you might get to your destination, I guess. He looks like a flamboyant redneck. Just yeet the skeet, Crosby, you moist bandito. So I guess we made our bed and it's time to yeet in it. <laughs> they turned off the lights and ambushed us. I guess they must be consulting with the Catholic Church for mission tactics as this strategy is popular amongst priests. By picking Mato up in a cargo helicopter when he was sitting in a car and dropping him in the lake. It is highly amusing, but it would be funnier if Mato wasn't in my car. After all the sweating, the crying, the fapping, the crying and fapping simultaneously, we at last reach the summit. And guess who we find at the top? That's right, Gandhi. The answer is, and always has been cocaine. Gandhi is now a consultant and I also demoted Marto down to pet food taster. Our motto is you never leave a man behind. Unless going back to rescue them is even a slight inconvenience. So sorry lads, good luck and goodbye. And rather the kind that would enter your room while you were sleeping and f*** you. The unicorn was a damn sex offender. We cruise along doing pirate stuff like, you know, blowing up civilian boats. I guess we aren't really interested in stealing their stuff. We are more into simply striking fear into their little NPC hearts. So I think, yeah, by definition, that's literally just terrorism, but let's not overthink it. Like the great host I am, I drink way too much and proceed to pass out. <laughs> I put hours and hours of blood, sweat and semen into saving up for this impressive office block. Robbo is genuinely pretty thick, but then he tells me his in-game avatar is only 14 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I like to put on a powdered wig, it helps me concentrate. I guess covering up child molestation scandals. It's like the Hangover movies, but instead of losing Doug, we are just hoping to lose our virginities. This is actually Australia in a nutshell right here. A pale man with a questionable haircut, hunched over a slot machine, wearing thongs and covered in tattoos, hoping that he hits a feature so the six kids he has to three different women can all eat tonight. Who spends too much time playing video games now, bitch? Well, I guess still me, but 
you're dead, so haha. But like a grown man making love to a midget, we crush it. But shooting semen inside tight spaces can be troublesome. But I was actually expecting that Rockstar Social Club refund of $1.5 million for this penthouse, but I mean, I probably would sell my little nephew into slavery for less, so I'll take it. After a few minutes, Colonel Sanders tells Miss Baker to leave as the men need to talk business. Damn, Rockstar, that's some blatant misogyny right there. You should be ashamed of yourself. That ass, though. And then escape ISIS style. Colonel Sanders escapes, though. Sometimes a few innocent people have to burn alive in a terrifying car explosion pileup for your boy CJ to get paid. But I still have so many locked guns I can't buy because I'm not a high enough level. What is this, Australia? Guess that's my bad for recruiting a few child soldiers. But it worked for ISIS. If you want more content, I'm streaming on Twitch, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Heroin. No matter how many times I do it, it's always super fun beaching boats in video games. It's like popping bubble wrap or stirring my morning coffee or slashing people's car tires and leaving death threats on their windscreens. It's just one of my little guilty pleasures. It's like that girl Marcus slept with earlier and she said she had crabs too. What's with all this seafood flexing all of a sudden?